Other M, issue 19. We start out with Knuckles asking angrily where Fang and Ray are, even though he personally had Fang killed, so you'd think he'd know that he's gone. How could he forget that? I'm surprised that Ray's been killed. Oh, right, he was hit by a truck. But, like, I totally forgot about that. As all of the Chaotix look sad, Knuckles intimidates them all with fire around him and yells at them for not winning already. He asks them motivationally if they're upset that two of their Chaotix are dead at the hands of the Rebels, and Mighty angrily thinks about how Knuckles had killed Fang himself, meaning that he really should have said one, not two. Again, evil Knuckles is an idiot. I hope this is supposed to be intentional, because it feels like it's just bad writing. Knuckles says that if they don't come up with a plan in 60 seconds, he'll kill them all on the spot, completely wasting his best minions. Again, an idiot. And then Espio says that if they use the right bait, they'll lure the heroes into an all-in-out assault and attack them. He says that Knuckles could tell them that if they win a battle, he'll give them the Mobotropolis province, which of course would be a lie. I guess they're gonna fall for it because they're desperate and because conflict. The heroes get the call from Knuckles, Sonic says that it's the Guardian's going away party, and Antoine and Fiona are fortunately genre savvy enough to say that they can't face the Guardian right now. Fiona says that since Knuckles has every Legionnaire there, they would be outnumbered 500 to 1. Please don't be stupid, Sonic, come on. Of course he will. Maybe this is what Sally's master was talking about, saying that they have to get Bean killed, because Bean would never decide to be stupid, and so a good thing wouldn't result from it. So two weeks later, the heroes are planning to make the stupid assault, and Knuckles wonders if his father, Dimitri, and Muggle's ghosts are here today, and will know the outcome before him. So it's confirmed, Sally's master isn't Moggle, just someone who fills the same role as good Moggle of the future. Knuckle says that Moggle must feel stupid, for all of this could have been his, so he tried to take over the world before. And he calls Dimitri his teacher, saying that he surpassed him. So what happened to him? Then he has an emotional moment while thinking that he doesn't want his father to be ashamed of him, as he made the world his island and will protect it all. So his father was ashamed of him? Is that why he's so evil? Surprisingly, already my review's over, and that's because nothing really happened in this issue. It's just the beginning. Most of it felt like padding. The heroes just get lured into a very risky fight because Sonic's desperate enough to take the risk of Knuckles actually giving him Obatropolis back. I think what he should have said is, maybe we'll actually get Knuckles killed, and that will win us Mobotropolis back. It shouldn't have been, I'm sure he'll give us the province. Because why would anyone buy that he would actually do that? And it's especially annoying because both Antoine and Fiona are smart enough to see that it's too risky, but Sonic decides to do it anyways. Also, at the start, Knuckles for some reason forgets that Fang died when he killed him, and says to motivate the Chaotix that two of them died at the hands of the Rebels, but no, only one did. Well, maybe the Chaotix do believe him. Except for Mighty, of course. And Mighty lampshading that doesn't make it good writing for him to get amnesia over what happened to Fang twice, when he has absolutely no remorse for what he did to him, so it's not like he repressed the memory of killing him. So this was just frustrating, really. 